वेलकम बैक टू एम एल टी वर्ल्ड चैनल टू डे फ्रेंड आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू सी बी सी टेस्ट सी बी सी टेस्ट इज अ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन टेस्ट दैट इज डूइंग ऑन रूटीन बेस एंड ऑलमोस्ट इन एवरी लैब वी विल परफॉर्म दिस टेस्ट सी बी सी स्टैंड फॉर कम्प्लीट ब्लड काउंट एंड अदर नेम्स फॉर दिस इज कम्प्लीट ब्लड पैरामीटर समटाइम डॉक्टर्स विल राइट दैट और दे विल राइट सी बी पी और दे विल राइट फुल ब्लड काउंट एफ बी सी so these all three names mean same test that is cbc test or complete blood count test a complete blood count includes uh, in report the amount and uh, size of uh, red blood cells and the amount of white blood cells differentials and platelet and hemoglobin hemoglobin and especially for red blood cell we will see the size and number also but for other we will just see the amount first first is what is rbcs rbcs are red blood cells red blood cells carries oxygen from the lung and deliver to the each tissue and cell of the body next is hemoglobin hemoglobin is a part of red blood cell hemo means red blood cell is mature red blood cell is fully composed of hemoglobin and the hemoglobin function is actually to transport oxygen from the lungs to the cells next is wbcs that is called as white blood cell white blood cells are uh, the main role of the white blood cell is to prevent from uh, organisms or uh, from antigens or from any Uh, infections such as bacterial viral parasitic or fungal infections and other diseases there are five type of white blood cells that are in our that are present in our body and next is platelet the main function of platelets is to prevent the bleeding by forming a clot so platelets play very important role in the case of uh, any internal or external bleeding now we will see the purpose of uh, complete blood count why the cbc test is needed uh, cbc test is actually i as i told one of the routine tests so for routine health checkup uh, this is uh, this test is need this is a part of routine health examination and uh, also to investigate uh, especially especially if the most common are unexplained symptoms like fever unintended uh, weight loss night sweats and bruising bleeding or fatigue in all these cases doctor first of all doctor will write cbc test and next is to monitor any ongoing treatment or uh, uh, ongoing health conditions like uh, cancer or chronic kidney disease that is called as ckd next is the purpose of cbc is to check the or to monitor that how well treatment is going on for example if first time cbc did and wbc count was very high like 20000 25000 then again doctor will recommend to repeat cbc to check that now white blood cell count is normal or still it's becoming high and next is to monitor health Uh, while being uh, pregnant especially for pregnant women this test is done uh, to investigate uh, the low hemoglobin or not what are the symptoms uh, if doctor is going to write cbc test so on which symptoms doctor will write for the most common are fever fatigue weakness bleeding and bruising and swelling or pain what type of sample is need as we told complete blood count test so for this sample uh, blood uh, is needed to perform the test and we pay from the vein of the patient blood will collect in edta tube the tube as you can see in the picture that edta stand for ethylene diamine tetracyclic acid that is anticoagulant so in this anticoagulant tube we will perform that as uh, just as a phlebotomist when you will take the sample mix well with edta so that anticoagulant will well dissolved in the sample and after that we will run the sample and this report we will get within half hour it will not take more time depending on the 
workload of the lab i will share normal ranges in another video i hope you like this video if you like this video do share with other people also and if you want to learn about any other test please write in comment thank you